Well, reliving a nightmare, that's what the croc hunter's death meant for Adam Davis. Davis himself was attacked by a stingray back in 1997. Yes, he was. It left a deep scar and a decade of painful memories. The Florida man wanted to share his story with CNN and send a message to our audience, so we took him fishing. We're just trying to figure out where there might be some fish because it's just such a low tide that, you know, they go out deep into the bay. And when the tide rises, they'll come in and they'll feed on these grass flats. So we're just basically trying to figure out what's going to be the best course of action to have a good day. We've been fishing for so long since we were, since we were small children out here that I just kind of had a comfort zone and I was wrong. Just got to be careful. There's a lot of stuff out here in this water that'll hurt you. You can have an eight-foot shark right here in this water with us right now. This is exactly what I did. Except the net was just going absolutely crazy. You're like, man, this is great. We got a net full of mullet or sheep pet. It could be anything, maybe snook, maybe redfish. And about the time that I got it right there, it just felt like a rocket hit me in the side. And the stingray was inside the net and then broke the barb off into my abdomen. And when I went over, walked over to him, he was holding his shirt up. And that's when I seen a little bit of blood running down the side. This is the scar that I have. They hit you so fast, it basically splintered it. And there's just little splinters of the barb all along. That was right at five hours of surgery. What was the pain like when it first happened? I would liken it to like a wasp or a hornet sting, but probably a hundred times the magnitude. It was just an unbelievable burning sensation. And basically that's that venom, you know, just kind of like burning. We tried several times to get it out, but you couldn't get it out. The initial physician was not able to get it out as well. So at that time they called a general surgeon in and scheduled surgery for the next day. And I don't think he was prepared for the extent of time that it took. Because um, I, I, I remember vividly him walking in and thinking, we'll get this out in no time, you know, very confident. And then about four and a half hours later, he come out and had a word with my parents that he was just absolutely amazed at how many pieces of the barb were lodged in my stomach. I just had thought about CNN. And I sent it via email. And it, me and my family, we discussed it, and we just thought that it might raise awareness that you have to be careful. We have a beautiful state. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with coming out here and enjoying it, but you have to keep in mind of the dangers. Yes, you do, and that is one lucky man. And a nasty scar for life you'll have. Well, from flooding in the U.S. Virgin Islands. To riot.